I love your message, fake woman. Or should I say, I love your double standards. So as we know, Queen Bee last night have signed a multi-year, multi-global media deal with the zone. But when I caught up with Fake a couple of years ago, this is what he had to say about streaming platforms. It's football, yeah. and football doesn't do streaming yet. No. And they're better, better, they're better placed than we are to determine whether that's a, going, to, going to be a success yet. So the fact that I'm sure they're doing some matches, but their main income is comes from subscription TV. Because that's what I was going to ask, because if you take away the pay-per-view revenue, um, and they have to put on pay-per-view caliber shows every week to keep up with people's description. Do you think that would take away the feel of a, a big night? Because I remember being a child and stuff and staying up late with my parents to... It was a big night when it was a big heavyweight fight or a big world title fight. Do you think with a flat fee, it's just going to platter out and every night it's going to sort of be the same? So it's not going to be have that big night feel anymore? Well, the problem you got with Terrestrial, like IT, you know, BBC are out of it. But yeah. so you're talking about ITV... As far as big big fights are concerned, they just they just can't match the money now that's generated by subscription TV, and that's and, and subscription TV can't generate the money that's generated by a pay per view. Yeah. The pay per view is the most honest form of TV. It tells you the true value of a fighter, his true worth, because the people are either going to buy it or they're not. And it gives you that choice as well if you want to see that fight, where if you're subscribing on a monthly basis, you've got to watch whatever's put on in front of you on that Saturday night. Correct. Correct. So, yeah, correct. Correct. So I'm a bit up and down. I, I get that's the way the world's heading is, is streaming, but then as I feel like it takes a lot of choice away from people. You've got to you've got to watch whatever the provider's giving you. So Yeah, I, I, um, I you know, I, I I think that as far as sports concerned, you know, look. Streaming for mu music and um, and and, uh, and films is easy because they're not live events. No, you know uh, when I say like you know I'm talking about Spotify yeah. and so forth, they're not live events. Sport is a live event, and you want to see it live. And I don't want to be watching as much as it sounds great. I don't want to be watching a football match or a great boxing match on my phone. So as we can see, money talks. We know this about boxing because boxing is a business. At the end of the day, we are now going to be forced to watch whatever's put in front of us on a weekly basis. Yes, it's great saying we're going to do these 150 shows, but everything can't be pay-per-view. Therefore, we'll probably get one great show a month, but then the rest of the weeks are going to be rubbish because the money's not there to generate. The competition's gone. There's no broadcasters to fight out fees or anything like that. So therefore, if they don't say we're going to pay this amount for this show, this is your budget, this is what you've got to do, that's what we've got to watch. And what happens when the Saudi money goes? When Saudi Arabia's had enough of boxing and puts boxing to the side and moves on to the next sport, what happens then? Because these promoters are still going to be stuck in these multi-year deals. So I don't think it's a great thing. But what's your opinion? Let us know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.